Hello viewers, today we have a very special guest with us. His name is Mark Sangiel, the head coach of Team Lakai. Thank you Mark for giving us this opportunity. Tell us about your story. Tell me about my story. Um, my story is about, yeah, before I started, uh, my first martial arts before was kickboxing when I'm in uh, high school. And uh, you know, fun watching before of kickboxing, so I joined. And uh, I joined also, uh, I'm encouraged to join martial arts through watching. And of course, uh, one, of, one of my idol is Bruce Lee. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I'm fan of watching also of his uh, movies before. So there, started there, uh, I, I joined to practice kickboxing when I'm in high school, then competing also in uh, kickboxing. Then when I, I went to the university and college, uh, I joined the uh, Taekwondo varsity at college. Then um, after that, I joined the Wushu competition, joined the Wushu competition, then they chose me to be one of uh, the member of the Philippine team. So by uh, 2001, I competed 1999 in national competitions, 2000, 2001, and the same year, 2001, we got gold in the SEA Games in Penang, Malaysia. And after that, I have to yeah, because I had to stop my studies before when I went to the uh, Philippine team. So after the SEA Games, I got the gold. I have to pursue my studies. So I have to stop uh, the uh, Pushu Philippine team. When I got graduated in 2003, I, I, I still have the hungry. I'm still hungry. I still want to compete. So... Uh, I trying to talk with the Philippine team if I can still compete in uh, maybe Asian Games World Championship, but um, they decided to uh, just continue my teaching. So yeah, going back there because when I get got back to the university, I coach Wushu in that university. Same time I'm studying, so I produces uh, many athletes. So they decided to, you know, uh, just coach, not to compete. But still, have, I'm still hungry. So here comes the MMA. So I joined MMA. But before that, I'm also cross training with the uh, judo uh, university team, and we have Rani David before, which I joined his BJJ class here in Baguio City. So at this at that time, uh, I think I'm fit in MMA because I joined. Uh, my my background is kickboxing, so plus the judo and the ground. So I joined the uh, uh, the competition in MMA. And 2004, I got the uh, URCC belt, bantam bantamweight belt in 2004, and that started. I'm competing until uh, here comes young guys joining me with passion in martial arts. And until uh, the team is increasing, becoming bigger. So I decided to hang up my gloves when uh, uh, they're competing now in international competitions. Okay. We know there are many world champions training under Team Lakai. What is the biggest strength of Team Lakai? Our uh, biggest strength, for sure, it is our strong and genuine brotherhood. We are uh, we're not just a team, but big family. And that, I think that's the one secret, aside from their passion in martial arts and their skills. Okay. How you differ from other MMA coaches? Uh, maybe um, patient is a virtue and I have been using that as my main mantra 
I don't raise my voice and when emotion is high, I always try to take things in diplomacy. There is no need to get angry and shouting. <laughs> okay. Do you willing to get athletes from other countries into Team Lakai? Yes, absolutely. As long as they abide by our Team Lakai rules and attitude is that positive attitude. Okay, if someone is uh, willing to join, what is the process and what sort of record do you request? Um, yes, first there, yes, I also so I'm getting their profiles. Then, of course, I want to, number one there, as I've said a while ago, is the attitude. Yeah, we should have good discipline. Okay. Uh, what is your training method? Uh, when it comes to literal training, we have programs for each athlete and we train two times a day. Okay. What martial arts did you specialize in? Yeah, um, for my story, I, I started from kickboxing, then branched out to Taekwondo and Wushu. I also cross-trained for Judo, then BJJ. Then that's MMA was the final one. Okay. How do you keep your smile even your athlete defeat in a match? <clears throat> uh, because I always believe that we may, we may not gain the victory now, but we will in the future. You know, the sun always rises after the darkness. Yeah. Tell us how you organize, plan, and prioritize your work. Uh, everything is important to me and how I manage them. I focus that I will transpire, transpire first. In Team Lakai, what elements do you analyze your opponent when your athletes are training for a match? All, uh, all, their past performances, their weaknesses and strength, their records, uh, yeah, then we'll try to make a good game plan. Okay. What message would you like to convey to the other coaches? <laughs> each of us is different from each other and uh, we have different style, methods and strategies of coaching. I cannot really advise something, but just love what you are doing. Put your passion there. What message would you like to convey to young athletes? Uh, for the young athletes, uh, do what makes you happy. Do what you love and passionate about. If then striving and achieving will be easier. Okay. Who is in your camp might we keep on keep an eye on in the future? Oh, many. <laughs> we have young athletes. Our up and uh, coming fighters are all hungry and they are more complete. Say, for example, we have the Joshua Pacho, we have Stephen Loman, they're the they're boss champions, and still young. They're just like 21 years old. We have Danny, Lito, Jeremy, and a lot more. We have still young athletes coming to become superstars. What is the future of Team Lakai? Uh, future of Team Lakai is to build more champions and, uh, of course, to, to help inspire more athletes and young ones. Okay. We have come to the end of this interview. Now you can take this as an opportunity to thank to those who have helped you. Yeah, first of all, I would like to thank those who help, help us since day one. We have uh, our fans, we have our sponsors, we have our trainers, our family members, of course. And of course, we thank God for always guiding us and helping us.
And of course, uh, thank you for the for this interview. <laughs> okay. Thank you, uh, Mark, for giving us this opportunity. And from SL Fight Club, we wish you all the very best for your future endeavors. Yes. Thank you, brother. All the best.